Hi everybody, it's Positive Bluebird, and I wanted to say sorry to um, a lot of my friends on here for being all over the map for the last two and a half years uh, since I started my channel. Um, I will admit over and over that I'm a huge advocate for those that have disabilities um, and mental illness like myself. And um, if I'm teaching others, I need to relax and teach myself um, that it's okay to have a breakdown once in a while, but um, not just make such a big decision like I did last week by saying, that's it, I'm done with my channel, you win, it's over with, I hate it here, blah, blah, blah. Um, I really didn't mean it. I really did um, uh, fall into a depression for seven days and... Um, I just felt like I needed to reach out to some really good friends, and I'm glad I did. Um, so anyway, I wanted to show you guys some pictures because I'm working on uh, junk journals that will hold um, a few pictures of my favorite, and I'm also working on a few photo albums that I found in a box um, in my son's room because when we moved here, I've always had photo albums and they were never really worked on when he was a baby 18 years ago. <laughs> um, but I put together uh, this one here. I'm still working on it. And some of the images I won't show you uh, just because, uh, unfortunately, um, some of my brothers don't really have anything to do with me. And that's just a story that I would rather keep to myself. Um, I don't think my oldest brother would mind. Um, but this is grandma on my mom's side and she is holding me and there's my uh, older brother. He's only about a year and four months older than me. And then here we are and I think we could be up at Estes Park. That was our favorite place to go. And obviously we're having a picnic with grandma, eating some chicken. And I don't know what's in those cans down there. <laughs> Maybe beer from my dad? I don't know. But I can see some animal crackers on the table. And Tupperware. And if I'm sniffling a lot, you guys, I did go to the ENT yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep this ENT because he's closer. Or just stick with my original that's just a little further away. Um... But the new ENT did look at my nose and I guess he, it's bleeding again. He did see some sores um, and cuts and um, you know a little bit of sinus issues that are related to the Meniere's disease which is causing de uh, the deafness. And I did have a hearing test so I did lose a lot more hearing and they will be uh, putting me on a list for hearing aids. Now, my second ex-husband, who lives in the same community, um, he went to the same ENT, and they're going to put him on a list as well. Um, so we're kind of sharing our disabilities together and uh, helping out with our kids. So um, kidneys are stable since I went to uh, infusion. It seems like the rituxan that's still in my system is is keeping me stable, even though the protein still becomes elevated Um but I'd rather it be stable, I guess. So we're going to check with my nephrologist in the, about a month and a half. So um, here is a feather I found one day when I was having a bad day. And I wrote on here, This lucky feather landed on my lap when waiting for a cab on a day I was feeling sad. October 2017. <laughs> I found a whole bunch of feathers um, that kind of look like that, but I found some really pretty ones too. Um, I'm going to show you a picture, but I'll block out my brother and excuse my horrible nails as usual. I, I need to do my nails. Um, I'll block out his face, but this is my brother next to Steve Watts. And if you look up Dots Arrow, they are a Denver-based jazz band, and they are 
uh, famous. I'm, I, I'm not sure if they have new albums out, but he came to my brother's school and also came to our house to privately teach my brother how to play the saxophone. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. And, and here's me when I was tan and, and skinny. <laughs> This is probably 1999, 2000. Fake tan. <laughs> Our new condo. Look at those drapes, like Emerald City. All right, guys, that's it for now. I hope you're having a fabulous Saturday. There's a grocery haul and a Christian faith coming up tomorrow for Sunday. Peace out and stay positive, everyone.